are hooking up perfect lap around Singapore. Singapore is uh, mainly knowing the track like the back of your hand. It is, it's a lot of corners. You have to use all the track as much as you can because it's pretty narrow um, and there's no runoff, so you can't run wide. Um, and so you've just got to make sure you get your braking points right. Don't break any traction because you should come across the line with a pretty handy time. Break, 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 break. <laughs> so Singapore, it's a night race. Many describe it as the jewel in the crown of Formula One. What makes it so special for you? For a driver, it's a nice change. Uh, we get used to kind of driving in the scorching sunlight. So it's nice to come to Singapore, stay on English time and, um, you know, race at night. It's, it makes the whole atmosphere, um, you know, sensational and the cars look amazing under lights. And what about the circuit itself? How much of a challenge is that? Singapore, for any driver, in my opinion, is the, is the hardest track of the year. It's one of the longest tracks you can do on a street circuit. You don't have these long straights to relax, so you're working hard because of the heat and the humidity, yet you've got no time to rest. Every driver at the end of the Grand Prix are, are kind of uh, pretty, pretty worse away. Some of the corners are particularly fast and not have any runoff. Um, and so if you make one slight mistake, you're going to have a heavy hit. You need to kind of be alert, you know, all of the time. Um, and, and everyone loves a street circuit because if you win at a street circuit, you're, you're a true driver. It's also one of the best attended races and that just builds its intensity, doesn't it? Yeah, Singapore is one of those cities which I think everyone loves. Um, it's one of those big hubs of the world which it is very easy to fly to. You have all different walks of life of people. Um, they have amazing concerts on every night so people can you know, celebrate it as a festival and also watch Formula One cars. Um, and you know, it's surrounded by high-rise buildings and hotels so people are kind of on their hotel balcony watching a Formula One Grand Prix. And it just makes it very unique and I think that's why it's such a, a hit for the fans.